I'm back with my new question, new session of YouTube, ma'am. Tubo Factory Infertility, ma'am. Shall we ask some questions about that, ma'am? Should I start, ma'am? Yes. Very good morning to you, Salam. Good morning, ma'am. Ma'am, ma what is tubo tubo factor infertility, ma'am? Sure. Um, if you are aware, actually for the causes of the infertility in women. There are various uh, reasons are there. The major problem is the ovulation, okay. that is 30 to 40 percent. The second major cause is the tubal factor and the pelvic factors, like tubal block or tubal infection, salpingitis due to the infection, due to the pelvic inflammatory disease, or due to the tuberculosis, mm. or due to the endometriosis in advanced stage, stage 3, stage 4. Okay. So these are the reasons where they, or maybe because of the family planning and then sterilization tube has been blocked. These are the various causes where tube, it will be you know, non-functioning and it will be blocked. Therefore, it causes infertility. Okay. Okay, ma'am, what, uh, what is the main cause of this tubal block, ma'am? Main, main cause of the tubal block is tuberculosis in, okay. in Asian countries, in India, in Pakistan, Bangladesh, and also in Europe. Main causes are tuberculosis. And also, is the, in collective form, we must mention that about 90% of the patients with the tubal block or because of TB. It is the primary infection happened because of the gram negative bacilli, that is the, basically the gonococcal infection. And then it will cause a final infection get damaged because of the tuberculosis, where the mycobacterial tuberculosis, it will destroy the cilia of the tube. And if the patient is not getting the treatment in correct time, she will have a frozen pelvis, and then she will develop tubo ovarian mass. She will develop uh, hydrosalpings, okay. uh, where uh, even if we give them a mycobacterial tuberculosis drug, that is ATT, um, even if we give, it does not solve the problem, actually we may have to remove the tube finally in the final stage before we do the ART and IVF. Okay, what are the symptoms ma'am actually? Chronic pelvic pain. They will have pain, they will have white discharge, they will have sometimes on and off evening rise of temperature and they will have major problem like infertility, inability to conceive. And the first thing we do, if she's a young lady, we do HSG and this is the tubal block. And this confirmation of the tubal block, whether it's there or no, can be done by laparoscopy after we get a negative report from the HSG. And on laparoscopy also, once we know that, yes, there, there is no spillage and methylene blue dye is negative, it gives a confirmation. Okay, with this uh, tubal block, man, she can conceive, man. With the IVF, yes, if she is tubal block and even after HSG which shows the tubes bilateral cornwall block is there and then laparoscopy also give the confirmation, then the next step is to do the IVF. Okay. And oh. the, yeah. Only IVF is the treatment, man. Right? Only IVF is the treatment and the success rate of IVF also depends if the tubes got hydrosalpines and there's a fluid and pus collection inside the tube and tubo ovarian mass is there, then we may have to give them counseling for removal of the damaged tube. In the United Kingdom and the United States of America and Europe, basically they remove the tube before doing the IVF. That gives a better success in the IVF. But in India, we have to give a thorough counseling to the patient and the patient should take a decision whether she wants a better success, if she wants a better success, she has to go for the removal of the tube before IVF. Because that infection in the tube, it will adversely affect the result of the IVF and the result and the success rate of the IVF come down. Okay, ma'am, ma what are the disadvantages and advantages of removing the tube even after? The advantages of the tube is a success rate because there is no pause or there is no infection which can destroy the embryos. So embryo directly getting implanted and very good success. 
but there is great disadvantages of the patient. Patient will have a psychological problem that, oh, uh, God gave me two tubes and now I lost my tube. And uh, the patient, they feel basically inadequate and they feel empty. They feel mentally, they will have a uh, basically sadness and depression.